Good morning, everybody. I'm Elliot. <laughs> I'm TJ. And this is our Almeria 2018 vlog. It is currently half, th in the half three in the morning. We have had no sleep. <laughs> Espanol, here we come. Arriba! <laughs> So we're going to Almeria in the south of Spain, in the sort of like desert region, to uh, have a look at the world-class geology. We're staying at the Aura Field Centre. Most geologists, if not all geologists who come and study in Almeria, they will stay at Aura. So it's kind of something that will bond us all as like geologists later on. Field trips are pretty cool because they give you a chance to go out and learn firsthand. You can get to explain to me in lectures, but then you get to go and actually see it. Having the chance to go do that, and especially doing it for free, basically, it's, it's a really good opportunity. People don't realise how important geology is. You need geology to build buildings, you need geology to build schools, and I like kind of showing to people how important it really is, and it builds on everything. It's just really important to get out there and to see things that you've never seen before. It enables you to go and do new things. I think trips like this make you realise this is what I want to do, definitely. It's not just you're stuck in a classroom, <laughs> learning about stuff, but you're actually there doing it and coming to Almeria, that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> so why not? <laughs> I like looking at the natural hazards, volcano zones, earthquake zones, anywhere where like this tsunamis could affect and flooding, going to areas and understanding the processes, being able to like spot hazards before they're going to happen. I love getting involved in stuff and sitting around and like writing stuff down. It's not my sort of style. I like to be doing activities and experiments and just stuff like that and testing things. That's the best part of it for me. Some people come in and they've already done A-level geology and then some people haven't. So you start off at different le levels and what they do is they make your first year so you're all up to speed. I care about the environment, actually. Yeah, that's kind of really why I chose geology. Understanding the environment allows you to be better prepared on how to understand it, how to cope with challenges that we face today. But with climate change and like um, sea level rising, we lose out on lots of valuable resources and those kind of stuff. So. It's a very serious topic. Let's have a walk around, guys. <laughs> Here we spot wild geologists in their natural habitat doing work outside. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, no. What's this episode of Crips? Girls' bedroom. Girls' bedroom. Run away. Let's go find the lecturers. Yeah, they're they're all passionate. They all love the course. Like they've all got their favourite sort of things. And as soon as they see it, you just see their faces light up. Yeah, they, they all love it. And it's really good if they're passionate about it. It engages us more. Yeah, they get so excited. <laughs> like you can. Um, I don't know whether you can tell. But like obviously Mike, as soon as he sees sediments, he gets all giddy and gets excited. And like after the cave, they went and had like a little exploration of themselves and they were just so happy. And Eddie was like, oh, we were crawling around on our bellies. And it's just like, oh, bless you. <laughs> this is a completely unique place. The, the geology here is, is still ongoing. It's absolutely world class. It's nice to come to a different area and have a look at some different rocks that are going on and some different kind of environments because you can't get all environments in the UK so that's why we kind of flew over to Spain and to have a look at this sort of stuff. Love the scenery. Yeah. Best thing about it, having to walk around all the time in the sun, get the right tan. <laughs> What did we just do? What did we just do? Yeah. Oh god. We were looking at a gypsum cycle. It was all to do with the earth moving on its axis. I started at A level and I fell in love with it. There's such a range of different things that you can have a look at and it just tells you the, the story of the earth from point blank and then you build everything together and look at all sorts of different sides of it. So many different options. My future game, like aim is to go to Africa and map them and study there. Mapping in Africa has not been done that much, so they don't know the potential of the resources there. Oil, minerals, diamonds, that kind of stuff. And it really interested me, so that's basically why I got into geology. 
So basically we've been finding burrows at the two last sites um, but this is a bit different because it's like a plan view so you're looking down at a stack of burrows and it makes like a honeycomb structure. This bit here, the honeycomb, none of us have ever seen this before, it's quite unusual. It's cool to get all the different environments and put a picture. Day by day we're going to get every piece of the puzzle and then get a whole picture at the end, it's really interesting. You have a great sense of achievement once you've had a full day in the field, you've got all your data and you're putting everything together and you see the story overall and it's just the effort that you put in and you get something so nice out of it at the end and everyone that's here as well, they make a really nice group and you just have a, it's just a nice sense of achievement. It's towards the end of the week when I start seeing them taking the days and stitching the days together and seeing the, the, the different aspects of the, the narrative of the geology of the area beginning to come into each other and, and into finger and that, that bigger scale understanding that, that, that the building of the mountain and the filling of the ocean are two parts of the same story. There is times when you, we all go through an outcrop and we all kind of just stand there and the lecturer's like, right, go on, and we all just kind of stand there like, are we supposed to know this? <laughs> right, how continuous is this? Some of the stuff we're looking at is like, what, 30, 40 million years old. So when you actually imagine it and it clicks, it's kind of like a pew, mind blow kind of moment. <laughs> this course, it makes you kind of proactive in the sense that it allows you to be more hands-on in the stuff that you do. So thinking about things and trying to interpret it is good, but if you're actually there hands-on getting the experience, it's even better. Fiona, do you want to show them your notebook? This is the geological notebook. You will yes. write everything down that you know in this. <laughs> Do not lose said notebook, ever. <laughs> Who lost their notebook? Um, now I kind of, I get put into the scenarios and I can just go and do it, but I still have to take like five, 10 minutes and I have to kind of stand there and be like, right, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? And that's just kind of how I work. These field trips are kind of like, they enable you to go and explore like new places and places you've never been before and see things you've never seen and like, especially with the cave today, there's not a lot of people in the world who's going to get the chance to see that. Yeah, the caves were really interesting because there's only five of those locations around the world and that's the the biggest one in Europe. It's within reach and distance for us, so it's like amazing to get these opportunities to come out here where some people might not. We've never seen anything like that on field trips before, like ever, so it's kind of really interesting to go down and have them explain what was going on, because obviously we'd seen it in the field earlier as well. So then to kind of have more background with it, it was really interesting to kind of look at it. When you're in there, you're trying to think about how, how it might form, what was going on in the past, what the environment was and you're trying to piece together like the history of the area, trying to piece together what's happened in the past and why everything's the way it is. Now get prepared, first little crawl, okay? Mind your back for a moment. So geology is a, a practical discipline, it's not happening inside the classroom, it, it's happening here. You can look behind here and there's so much of it everywhere, all over, and they can stand here and see it and I can point at a, a hillside and it's all over the hillside. Each day we're looking at something rare and interesting. So like the first day we were looking at echolites, which are really rare, and then today the gypsum cave, which was really rare. And then on the evening times, I think the pub's quite cool, so. <laughs> well, it's been a good trip, I think. It's been one of the best trips we've had so far. Definitely, Definitely yeah, it's been amazing. I am certainly ready for going home, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's Manchester, been fun. here we go. Yeah, England, here we come. They've the spun incredibly well, in, extremely well, and, and it's partially the weather, it's partially the difference the landscape uh, and also the fact that the geology is you know all of it's just so big it's so dramatic these guys as, as people sort of halfway through their training uh, as geoscientists naturally get enthused by that it's a, it's a big thing for them it prepares us for later on in life and it puts us as well out of our elements so we see stuff that we've never seen before and it'll give us the skills to know how to tackle that kind of environment later on in life so yeah it's a great opportunity <laughs> Almeria in a sentence probably the craziest, most interesting week of geology that I've ever done. We're leaving. We're going home. Oh, it's open. Huh? <laughs>
I'm happy and sad as well. I'm sad to be leaving the sun. Definitely. I'm happy to be going home to my own bed. Definitely. And a decent cup of coffee. <laughs>